Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Um, before I get started, I got a lot of things to say and a lot of things to show you. So if you want to get right to the poor, please fast forward. Use the timestamps below. You'll see them along the red bar of your video at the bottom of your screen or in the description below. There are timestamps that tell you exactly what parts of the video you see me pouring, blowing out the paints, adding the colored paints, all that stuff. So check out the timestamps if you want to just fast forward um, to the paint portion of this video. So before I get started, I wanted to tell you guys some really exciting news. You may have seen it already on Instagram or Facebook or on my YouTube community page, but in case you haven't, I have teamed up with four amazing ladies. Um, so we are doing a collaboration called The Great Switcheroo. So myself, Tammy Anderson, Erica Hughes Art, Mina Villegas Art, and Sarah Mack Art, the five of us have decided to get together and do something fun. So the whole point of The Great Switcheroo is we're all pretty much known for a certain technique or uh, you know it's our niche like for myself for example I am Dutch pour Tammy Anderson does blooms let's see we've got Mina who does wicked ring pours then we have Sarah Mack who does great straight pours and then we have Erica Hughes who's also a good bloomer but also does some really awesome swipes so what we did, we put names in one hat, techniques in another, and I pulled a name and a technique and paired them up together. So we're all doing someone else's technique. We're switching it up. So if you want to see these videos, you will get to see them this Sunday, January 17th. Now, Mina and um, uh, Erica, are on different time zones than myself, um, Sarah Mack and Tammy Anderson. We're Eastern Standard Time. Um, Mina is in California, so she's three hours behind us. And Erica is in Ireland, who is six, I believe, five or six, six hours ahead of us. So we're timing it all properly so that the first person who's gonna go and release her video, we're gonna release in 15 minute intervals. That way, um, you all have a chance to watch the first one if you'd like and then move on to the next video after that. The videos are going to be around 15 minutes long from what we've agreed on. I still have to do mine um, and I'm not going to tell you what I got chosen to do. You're going to have to wait till Sunday to find out. But uh, it's going to start at 2.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Starting with Mina at 2.45, myself at 3 o'clock then Erica at 3.15, then Tammy at 3.30, and followed by Sarah Mack at 3.45. Something like that. So stay tuned on Sunday, January 17th for that. Super excited. We've had a great time with the girls figuring this all out and seeing everybody else's um, paintings. And we're also going to link all everybody's videos in the description below. And if I remember... I'll also put them at the end of the video where you see the little square pop-ups and that way you can just click on those as well. So that's exciting news number one. Now I want to show you guys one of my finished pieces. Um, this, these are 12 by 16 or 11 by 5. I can't even tell. Anywho, I finally got them resined and look how pretty they are. Can you see the shimmer? I wish I could be out in the sun. Boy, do I miss my back deck and the beautiful sunshine where I could show you guys how these things shimmer. So there's the one. Let me put it back, make sure I don't drop it. Stay put. Yeah, it's a little wobbly. And then this is the other one. There you can see some shimmer. You see that down here? So these, uh, these pieces, this diptych, is available for purchase for anyone who is interested. I'm going to double check the size. I don't know why I can't figure it. It's a 12 by 16. They're 12 by 16s. Yes, that's what they are. 
pretty sure that's what they are. Next thing I wanted to show you is my red Dutch pour. This is now done. I don't remember if I showed you this one or, or not. I can't remember. But anywho, this one's now done. Look at the gold. It's so pretty. So this one is now done as well. It has found a new home. I'm going to give it another day or so. Then I'm going to pack it up and I'm going to ship it out. Speaking of packing up and shipping out, I have recorded a video tutorial on how to pack and ship paintings. So I just need some time to edit it and get it up, you get it uploaded onto YouTube and all that. But hopefully within, <clears throat> excuse me, the next week, I'll have that video up for you guys because a lot of people have been asking me about that video. So I finally had some time to uh, record a video and show you guys how I pack up my stuff. This one is now dry. This is the 12 by 36 and look at that. I tell you, I don't want to hit the ceiling. You can, the reflection sucks. It really does. Resin reflection with all the lights and everything in the background. But this one's done. It's perfect. The sides are perfect. The back still needs my stamp and my signature. And then this one will be ready to be shipped off. This one was a commission for a client. And then the last piece I wanted to show you was the circle dutch port which is also now done and resined and it's beautiful look at that it's so pretty the colors are so rich i wish you could see what i see i can't believe these lights make things so difficult but anywho this one's now done as well and it is uh sold and it will be shipped off in a few days as well um actually i guess i could show you this it's not resin yet but this is from my last video it is is it dry now yes it is dry now i think it's dry yeah it's dry i'll give it another day or so and then this will get resin too but look how rich and perfect look how nice it dried it's so pretty and I'm happy to report this one has sold as well. So I had a lot of people email me about this one, um, but it's sold literally right away uh, as soon as I released the video on YouTube. Um, but I am doing another one. I had a lady, lovely lady commission um, this exact piece. So I'll be doing another one for her. Obviously, we all know it's never going to be um, exactly the same. That's impossible. But same design, same colors. And I'll be doing that for her. Um, last thing I wanted to show you is, I don't know if you saw on Instagram, for those of you who are on Instagram, I got some new molds and uh, I forgot them upstairs. But look, I made dominoes. How cute are these? Now, let me tell you, these were, aside from the moon rocks that I used from color art and I did that beautiful tray and that mermaid tail for those of you who are longtime viewers know what I'm talking about um, this is the most detailed time-consuming thing I have ever made um, these little dominoes um, so I have two sets this is a set so domino sixes so this has 28 tiles 28 tiles and they're purple with chunky purple chunky glitter and then I have Domino's 12s, which I made with blue and white. So I'm trying to get it to focus on the tile and not me. Let's see. Does that work? Yeah. So I made blue ones as well. And these are, um, like I said, Domino's 12. So there's 63 tiles for these and uh, 28 tiles of the purple ones. And if anyone is interested in purchasing these Domino sets, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com and you can get one of these. A lot of people have been asking me about the moon, the little moon resin pieces I was doing with the fairy and the cat and the wolf and the unicorn. Um, if you're interested in one of those, I can make you one. Again, just email me. So that's all I wanted to show you this morning of completed pieces 
and our news. I wanted to say a quick thank you to Kathleen D, uh, Mary D, and Kathy C for the PayPal donations. Thank you, ladies. Uh, you guys were very generous. I really appreciate it. I will take that and put that into um, buying art supplies. So thank you so much for your donation. If anyone else cares to donate to my channel, um, it's always greatly appreciated. I'm very, very um, appreciative of that. And you can find that in the description below um, in my PayPal link. Okay, I am going to get started on today's pour and you are not going to believe what I'm up to today. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back and look at this. This is going to be crazy. I hope it works. Okay, so after I did my circle Dutch pour a couple of videos back, I had a good friend of mine, you may remember him, if you've been a loyal viewer, um, Ben Martin. He's the one who did that beautiful portrait um, of Juno for me. And he's also the one who purchased one of my Dutch pours and then a couple months later said he wanted to make that into a triptych. So he bought a 16 by 20 from me, one of my pieces, and then asked me to do two more 16 by 20s. But of course, I didn't have the first piece in order to match them up. So I kind of did it blindly and um, I sent them out to him. I got them all resin and he sent me a picture of all three of them hanging up on his wall. Now, I don't believe I ever showed you that. So, um, if I can remember, I will throw the picture up here just for a couple of seconds, if I remember, and if I can find the picture, if not, sorry. Um, but yes, he said to me, I would love to see a Dutch pour in a rainbow, like the color spectrum. So I thought, well, that'd be fun, but also very challenging because I would be afraid the colors would get muddy. And he's like, no, no, do red orange, yellow, green, like that. So we all know, or most of us, I don't know, I, as a kid, remember the colors of the rainbow by saying Roy G. Biv. I don't know how many of you know that. I'm sure lots of you do. Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. All right, so that is what we are doing here. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So I have three shades of each color. So I'll just show you a quick example. So I've got three shades of red, a dark cadmium red deep hue. Then I'm gonna add some iridescent cause I want shimmer in all of this. So iridescent red blue by Pebeo and cadmium red medium hue by Liquitex Basics. I'm not gonna go through all the colors. Um, it's just a lot of colors to go through. If you wanna try this, just find three colors of three shades of the same color and go with that. Okay. Um, I will try again. I will try to list all the colors in the description below, but like, I mean, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 21, 21 colors. That's a lot. And I might in between throw in some pearl by deco art. Not really sure yet what I'm going to do with that. My bottle is sticky for some reason. Now my fingers are sticky. Okay, so what I've done is I've already layered my 20 by 20 inch canvas with my white Dutch pour paint. So Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with Floetrol and water. And if you wanna know how I mix all my paints, including the base paint, they're all mixed exactly the same. You can check it out in video number 63. I will link it up here at the top for you guys. For those of you who are new watching, that is a full tutorial on how I mix my paints. Now I'm just going to pop all the air bubbles really quick here. And before I do that and keep going, I wanted to say thank you again to all of you who have been heading over to Lucas's, my son, he's 10 years old, his YouTube channel, um, and letting his videos play in the background. Um, so many of you have been emailing me, messaging me, writing in the comments below saying, you know, I was cleaning the house or I was cooking dinner or I was exercising and I had Lucas's videos on playback, his playlist playing on a continuous loop. I'm telling you guys, that has helped tremendously. Before I asked you guys for your help, he had about 600 viewing hours. 
he's now at 1,100. So he still has a long way to go. He's got to hit that 4,000 threshold, but that's a significant jump for this little guy. And he is, I'm telling you, he checks it daily every day just to see how much it's jumped. And he's so excited about it, but he is aware that he has a long way to go. So for those of you who have been doing that, I cannot thank you enough. Um, just to see the smile on his face, like even yesterday, he's like, mommy, I'm going to grandma's house. I said, buddy, you have school. He's like, yes, I'm going to take my computer. But then at night he goes, I'm going to sleep at grandma's house. He goes, cause I have to record a YouTube video because we all know his train table is at grandma's house for now. Once my new studio is ready and I move all my stuff over to the new studio, he will bring his train table home where he'll be able to do his videos more often. And of course get mommy's help. So we're really excited about that. I'm really excited because my father built my table yesterday. I'm so excited. He he started my table, he finished it off. It's all ready to go. Now I'm just waiting for my husband and my father-in-law to put down the laminate floors and then finish up with some trim work that my dad will come and do. But I'll show you guys at the end of this video, my table, it's six by eight feet. It's massive, I'm so excited. Okay, enough about that, let's get to this. Oh, here, make sure your canvas is level all the way around. Um, let's see, I'm so excited about my table. It's Everything's finally starting to take shape in the new studio. Okay. What I did was I got um, just a round bottle. I traced it, I cut it out. And as you can see, I put Roy, Roy G. Biv on it. You see that, can you see that? So I wanted to make sure that I did this as centered as possible. Now you don't have to do this. I'm just nitpicky and I want it to be as perfect as possible. So I'm going to hopefully find the center of my canvas. And this is just um, craft paper super, super light. You can use whatever you want or don't use anything at all. Um, but I just, see, I already touched it, which is fine because I'm going to put it in the paint anyway. I don't really care. Um, I'm just going to put it there. I just want it to be centered, you know, um, I don't have my measuring tape, but you could also just measure your size. It doesn't have to be perfect. It really doesn't, but I'm just, Per a perfectionist like that and I just have to do it and it's helping me with a guide so I know red orange yellow and all that so I'm going to start I, I don't even know how I'm going to do this I have no idea I haven't even really put much thought to it um, because you just don't know so I'm going to go red I'm going to leave the bottles open because I'm going to come back to them then we go orange and notice I'm using all the dark colors first. Yellow. Guess I don't need the napkin since I'm not closing the lids yet. Green. Then we have, oops, phthalo blue. Dioxazine purple. And then, of course, violet. Prism Violet. Okay, so you know what? I might, yeah, I, I just, I don't think it's going to be enough paint. I don't know. I have no idea. There's air bubble. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to add, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. It's too late now. This is strictly trial and error for me. And I hope it works out because I don't want to scrape it. I'll be very upset because this is a lot of paint and a lot of colors and I would hate to have to go again. All right, let's get out of here, air bubble. Let's now do the iridescent. And then as we're moving out, obviously the lines will get bigger. Okay, I don't have an iridescent in the yellow, so it's just going to be the next yellow. I have iridescent green, and then the iridescent blue-green, oh, okay, 
Okay. I don't have iridescent purple, so now we have, uh, what is this? Blue Violet by Amsterdam. And then I have, yeah, I did that right. Metallic purple. Okay, now I'm gonna add the pearl. Let's just do this. Okay, I added the pearl for cell reasons. I'm hoping to get some cells out of that. Okay, and then last, that, what is this? Uh, Azo or Azo Orange by Amsterdam. Cadmium Yellow Hue Light. Actually, I might put it on the silver. Then we have Cadmium Green Hue by Liquid, uh, no, Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Uh, Light Blue by Artist Loft. And uh, Dioxazine Purple, but it's lighter. The first Dioxazine Purple was by Golden, and this one's by Artist Loft. So you can tell they're different colors. And then we have Brilliant Purple. Okay. I have my fingers crossed. I hope that this is enough paint. I don't know if it is. And I don't know if I should add anything else. I don't know. I don't know. So now I'm going to use my tweezers just to pick this little guy up. Like so. See? No big deal. All done. Just like that. I hope I don't need that again. But at least now I have... A perfect circle. Oh, look at it. I'm looking at it in the camera and it's so pretty, but I don't know if I should add anything else. Ah, I don't know. I just, I don't know if it's enough paint. You know me, when I, I load it up when I do my stripes, right? Um, okay, I'm going to, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna add, I just feel like it's not enough. I'm going to do one more round and I, I'm going to try to keep my circle. I don't know. I don't know. I might add more. I know. Stop it, Canela. Stop it. I've never done this before. Never done it, ever, ever. Oh. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna add some more. I wanna just cover these gaps. Now I'm just messing around. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, this one. I kind of lost my, this one here. Okay, I think this is, this is better. I'm liking this now. I'm liking how this is looking because I was kind of thinking it wasn't enough and I'm filling up the gaps is what I'm doing. So this is better. This is better. Okay. Okay. Oh, so while I'm doing this, I'll tell you a story. Bad doggy. So this morning I wake up and I look under the coffee table and there's bits of something chewed up. Obviously it was Juno because we create echo at night. And we had these beautiful little nesting dolls. They're called babushka dolls. And uh, he decided to take it off the uh, TV unit stand that we have and eat it <laughs> little bugger so he took my babushka dolls and he chewed them to bits and i wondered why he would touch it because it's been sitting there for a while and he's never touched it before and he touched it yesterday and sophia says to me well mommy i was playing with them yesterday i said you were and she said yeah i was playing with them and juno came and sniffed them 
And I said, well, that explains it. So he saw you playing with them and then he saw you put them away. So he saw you where you put them. So he knew where they were. And sure enough, after we all went to bed, he had a little chew fest. So here I am this morning at 8 a.m. with tape, putting it all back together. Why am I using this torch? Where did that come from? <laughs> this is my torch. Although I guess I don't need to torch it again, but this is more powerful. I like this one better. Anywho, I had to put it all back together because I needed to make sure that there were no pieces missing because I wanted to know if he swallowed any pieces. So here I am, I put it all back together and uh, everything was intact in there. Unfortunately, little babushkas went to uh, the garbage, but very disappointing. Okay, okay, this is better. I think this is gonna be better now. Now I have to be careful. I don't wanna, when I blow, I don't wanna grab any of the white paint here in the center. Um, maybe just a smidge, but I definitely don't wanna grab it, like a lot of it. And I'm gonna blow each section at a time. So when you're doing this, if you try this, you have to start with your hair dryer up high because you want to be able to accurately as possible, as accurately as possible, push only the certain color you're trying to move. Now, again, I've never done this before. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. Let's start with, uh, let's start with, I'm so nervous. Okay, 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 let's go. I, I blew that wrong. Now I want to bring some of the purple back before I blow that out. Okay, one more, one more. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's for my first try. I'm so happy. Now, I was trying, trying not to blow the petals over. Uh, unfortunately, green went over, and I guarantee you these will end up going over. And I didn't want it to go over. I wanted it to stay put. Because um, I wanted to be matchy-matchy. <laughs> um, I'm so excited. Look at that. Okay, so now I am gonna fidget with it, especially with the center. Um, and I don't, I'm gonna obviously push this over. I'm gonna just push all the petals over. Uh, this one might be a little tough because it's so far away from the edge, but I'm gonna fiddle with it. So.
Okay, the only thing I'm, I'm just, you know, iffy about here is the fact that every color has blown over the side with the exception of blue and yellow. So I'm gonna put you guys on hold. I'm gonna fix my edges, obviously. And then I'm gonna look at it a bit and you're either gonna come back and see the blue and yellow as is, or you're gonna come back and you're gonna see it blown over. But uh, I haven't decided and I don't, you don't need to watch it cause you just saw me do the other colors. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so I have blown out the blue and the yellow and I'm actually happy I did cause now it all matches. Um, I still haven't fixed the sides yet. I'll, I'll fix those after, but I did want to show you guys. See, look, I see how much I have to fix the sides. Oh, so a lot of people also ask me, how do you fix the sides? So since this is already a long enough video, let me just show you really quickly. So in instances like that, even though I did put white, see, there is white on the canvas there. Um, so what I do is I just take my squeeze bottle and I do that. And then try and do this holding the camera at the same time I take my finger and I just dab see that so I'll dip my finger in any excess white paint too just like that that is how I fix my sides okay there's a clump of something there got that okay so I will do that all the way around. So you see there where you see dry canvas and here and right there, I will fix that. So just literally dip your finger in any excess white, make sure there's no color in it. And then um, that's how I fix my sides. So there you have it. Now let's check out this glow up. And of course I'm gonna turn the studio lights off. Let's start with red, shall we? Red. Orange, yellow, or lello, as I used to say as a kid, lello, green, blue, indigo. I love how rich it is right there. And look at that strip of cells. That's crazy. And violet. So there you go. Let me turn the studio lights off and you'll see it's going to be prettier. All right. So here we go. We'll start here. So there's definitely shimmer in here. I'm so glad I added the pearl because look, you see that? It's left like an outline, like a trace around all the petals. You can see it there. There it is there in the red. Look at the shimmer. I'm so happy with this piece. Now, of course, if you are interested in this piece, it is available for purchase. I have a feeling that this piece is not gonna last very long. Look at that. And when this dries, it's gonna be so pretty with crystal resin. And my center is a circle. It's perfect. I'm so happy it's perfect. So if you're interested in this, you know what to do. Email me at canelasoraco at gmail.com. Do it quick, because I don't think this one's gonna last. Let me show you guys progress in my studio. So I don't know if you saw, can't remember. I keep losing track, the door's up. Um, I think I showed you that. I cut, out, I cut out the plastic so that I can see. Oh, you can see my reflection. Look, ah, it's so big. So my dad cleaned up because we're going to get ready to put the floors down. Um, but look, look at this. It's so big. <laughs> so my dad built this in a couple of hours. Um, so it's got a three quarter inch MDF on top. So it's got one full sheet, uh, four by eight sheet. Now this is the four by eight sheet and then this is two by eight. So we cut it and then it's like a perfect seam all the way across. There's the other half of it. Um, but yeah, and then my dad put these nifty handles so that we can pick it up with because you can't pick it up from here um, or you'll literally just rip it right off. But yeah, look, <laughs> see my dad gets trigger happy with the nail gun. 
but uh, he loves his tools, I'll tell you that. But, uh, and it's so perfectly level. So that's what it looks like underneath. It's all been glued down. It ain't going anywhere, let me tell you. It's pretty heavy too. So this is basically, I'm just gonna move it over and probably bring it out a little bit more. But that, ow, <laughs> it just walked into a table. That's basically where it's gonna be. Just maybe move it over a bit this way and come up this way. And this is where I'm gonna be painting for you guys. And there's the door I'm gonna Dutch pour on. Oh, I'll show you my dad put a door around the electrical panel. There's a, see, he built those. They just need to be painted now. This hides the electrical box. My dad's pretty nifty, what can I say? I love him. Look, even like rounded off, look at that. He's very, very good with woodworking. So just gotta put handles on there. Okay, so I think this video has been long enough. Thank you for sticking with me the whole way. Um, again, if everything is listed in the description below, Amazon links, discount to Crystal Resin, discount to Loli Vefi, discount to Arteza, PayPal link is also listed below. Um, that is it, guys. Don't forget, stay tuned till Sunday for Sunday for the collaboration with the girls. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.